Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rejuvenation. So, the game has finally been patched, so now we can actually explore the old part of uh, East Garen. So, uh, let's see what new changes are around this part. And, alright, so my multi-purpose mod seems to be functioning. Alright. What? Item here. And actually, you know what? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the uh, hotel here. Oh, it looks like there's new items outside. And since there's two of them... Oh, they're just shards. But anyway, let's go see the casino because... Oh, wow. This place looks nice now. Alright, so... Casino. AP Center, which stands for Achievement Point. And it's down here. Really neat rewards, but if you don't have a way of... Achievement card. With this, you'll be able to view the amount of AP without having to stop on. Okay. Golden items. Okay, so we have racked up 70 AP so far. Just from... Getting just the bare minimal of, achie of achievements. Alright, so let's see what we can get. Okay, so we can get the uh, rare candy, we can get the vitamins. Golden gauntlet, golden axe, golden hammer, surfboard, jetpack, claws, XP share all on for 30 AP. What are these golden items? Wait, are these what I think they are? It's a key item. They are! They're the HM replacement items. Okay, so, uh... Oh, no. No, I didn't want that. I want another one of these. Uh... Golden Wings. Let's see if we can actually use Fly now, because... The only way you... Because you didn't have the HM yet. Oops. Uh, lobby. Can we actually fly? Because we have the badge to do it. I guess fly hasn't been programmed in yet. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, but now we can actually see uh, what they do. Also, um, Jan said that that's also where you can get the um, the cards for the uh, EV rooms now. Uh, you know about the EV rooms in the uh, beginning laboratory where you can train. Um, you can you can't catch the Pokemon, but you use them to train IVs, and you need certain access cards to get to them. Uh, this is where you can actually buy them now for 10 AP, so you can get them a little early, because I'm not entirely sure if they're still in the Wispy Ruins or not. So, um, that's all right now for achievement points, so uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. So, I just discovered another exploit that you could do with the achievement points. So right now I'm on, um, I'm on, uh, version 9, so when you... Because the achievement system doesn't exist on version 9, what I did was, if you save on um, version 9 it comp and then open up version 10, it completely resets your achievement points. But uh, since you can, uh, the game keeps track of how many steps, because it's a variable on the variable list, but none of the others aren't. So, now that I just loaded up version 10, you see, as you can see, my achievement points for Tired Feet have been completely reset, but because the game keeps track of them, because um, it's a variable, um, if I take one step, I just got 6 AP right off of that. So, I did this once already, so that means um, I'm going to check my achievement card, and now my AP has gone up to 18. So technically, now we can have a 
method of getting an infinite amount of achievement points as well, so we can get all of the golden items at once. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time when we explore the rest of the city.